Which of these two videos look better? What about now? And finally, how about now? Have you ever wondered why your outdoor shots look a little flat in terms of colour and exposure, even though you know you absolutely nailed it in camera? Well, what happens if I told you there was only one simple change that I made to each of those examples that made such a huge difference to the final look? And it wasn't anything to do with camera settings, white balance, the lenses, or the camera itself. It was down to this simple yet brilliant filter system from Freewell. And what I want to share with you today is a bit of information on the filter system itself, as well as real world applications in which a filter like this will be super handy when you're out creating content. So stick around to the end of the video because there might be some things you don't know and some others that you definitely need to be aware of when using a filter system like this. Okay, so what is it that makes this filter genius? Well, it combines two filters in one system. We have a VND and a CPL. And for those who don't know, VND stands for Variable Neutral Density and CPL stands for Circular Polarizer. Both of these filters have the ability to completely change the final look of your image in different ways. So let's explore the reasons why we'd use both separately and later have a look at why it's genius to have both of these combined in one filter system. Typically, you'd use a VND filter when you're filming videos outdoors for two key reasons, and that is motion blur and depth of field. When you're filming content, you want to achieve that professional look, and a part of that is having natural looking motion blur. And we can easily achieve this by having our shutter speed set at double our frame rate. This is called the 180 degree rule. And how it works is if you're shooting video at, let's say, 25 frames per second, then your shutter speed should be set at 150 per second to ensure you achieve that natural looking motion blur and this rule applies to any frame rate you should always double your shutter speed whatever your frame rate is set at in conjunction with motion blur to achieve that professional look we also want to utilize using a shallower aperture number to give more depth of field to our image and this way it will give great separation between a subject and the background itself but if you try and combine it the 180 degree rule and a shallower aperture number outside in the middle of the day without a VND filter on your image will start to become quite overexposed. So right now I am using a VND filter, but if I just pop it off, you can see how everything becomes completely washed out and all the detail is lost. So you can already see how beneficial it is using one of these filters. However, one thing you may encounter when you're out shooting from certain subjects is a lot of reflections and shine. So if we have a look at this shot of my car, whilst the image is exposed correctly, there are a lot of pesky reflections ruining the final image. But this is where a CPL filter comes into play. These filters are magical little things. They'll basically reduce the glare from reflective surfaces and they are more typically used for photography, but there are plenty of applications where a filter like this can be super handy when you're shooting video. So taking another look at my car here, if I just rotate the CPL part of the filter, we can see how all of those reflections just disappear. How cool is that? And it doesn't just stop at cars either. If you're shooting a pond, for example, boom, get a CPL filter on. It cuts through all of those reflections so you can see into the water and the colors are so much better as well. Rather than having the blue reflections from the sky, it looks how it should. But this being a pond in the UK, it's manky, it's dirty, it's disgusting, and no one wants to look at it. But we're now looking at it, and I apologise for that. <laughs> it's a good example, though. <laughs> Another scenario, this one doesn't involve dirty ponds. Say you want to shoot someone through a window, but you want to see the person themselves, Use a CPL filter, cut through all those reflections and you can see straight through that window. Another example here is if you're filming outside and it's a pretty bright day, a lot of the natural colours in the sky can get just completely lost. You lose that natural colour and it just becomes white and washed out. But put a CPL filter on and it's going to bring back that natural looking colour. The same can be said for landscape shots that contain a lot of greens from leaves and grass. And there is actually one more example that you might not have thought of where a CPL filter is super handy and that's with skin tone. So if you have a look at this shot here, I think you could agree that everything looks pretty well exposed, but you may notice there is quite a bit of shine on my face from the direct sunlight. Now one way I can combat this is by using like a bit of diffusion and put it in front of the sun, but when you're a one band band and you're filming by yourself, that's well, pretty difficult but what you can do instead with this filter set you can just rotate the cpl part of the filter so now if i just rotate it to about there you might be able to notice that shine has completely gone so now i can expose my image correctly and not have to worry about having the shine because i can just use the cpl filter to eliminate it completely 
And that right there is what makes this filter system genius because it allows users to use both a VND and a CPL filter simultaneously. It means you no longer have to choose between using one or the other. A lot of filter systems out there don't allow you to stack filters for some reason, so you don't actually have a second thread mount to put a CPL and a VND filter on the front of your lens at the same time. But even then, if you did get two of these filters attached, it could actually lead to other problems like trying to be able to adjust one part of the filter without accidentally adjusting the other. And then there is also the final problem of colour shifting, which could be more severe as you're shooting through two sets of filters. So this filter system solves all those problems, but there are still some things you need to be aware of when using this system. <sighs> Bit of dust on it. But just before we get onto that, I would like to take this moment to quickly just talk about the filter system itself from Freewell. So straight out of the box, they do come in this real nice dedicated case, and inside you'll find a couple of items. Firstly, an adapter mount that sits on the front of the lens, and then the filters themselves. The filters sit on the front of the lens using the adapter mount, and it's really easy to get these filters on because they just use magnets. So you just pop it on there, and you don't even have to screw it into place. And then you may have noticed there are a couple of screws on the side of the filter, and this is what you use if you want to switch between adjusting the VND or the CPL part of the filter. I don't think this could have been integrated better into this filter system. It's really easy and simple to use. Something else that sets this filter apart to others that are on the market is its stops. This is a 3 to 7 stop variable ND filter and typically filters like this come in a 2 to 5 stop and then a 6 to 9 stop. It's kind of nice to have a filter system that hits the range I use perfectly. When I'm outside filming and it's harsh daylight I'm probably using a 6 to 9 stop but then if we have intermittent clouds I then need to go down to maybe 4 or 5 stops and that means I have to constantly switch between my 6 to 9 stop filter and my 2 to 5. So this just hits the sweet spot perfectly and it means I spend less time in my camera bag swapping the filters and just more time focusing on actually creating the content. In terms of the price I do think these filters are really well priced and are really reasonable for the quality that you are getting. So this 82mm set here will set you back only £129. And something else that's really unique and definitely sets this filter system apart to others that are on the market is you can stack additional filters to the front part of this filter because it has a magnet right here. So as well as sending me out this part of the filter, Freewell will very kind to send me out their one fourth mist filter. Now I really like using a mist filter. I'm actually using one right now. And what a mist filter does is, you can see right here, it actually blooms the highlights and it can give a really cool aesthetic to your visuals. Now as much as I like using one of these, I can't always use one in the middle of the day outdoors because I need to maintain that 180 degree rule and my filters are stackable. So I can't put a VND and a mist filter on at the same time. But with this system, I can. All I need to do with the magnets is just pop it on. And now I have a CPL filter, a VND filter, and the optional mist filter on all at the same time. And that right there is what I think makes this system right here future proof for content creators. Now there are a couple of things you have to be aware of when you're using this filter system but to be fair this is actually more addressing the CPL part of things and it's actually not exclusive with this filter system but rather all CPL filters. You can depending on the situation notice a slight shift in colour which means if you set your white balance first and then make any adjustments to the CPL filter you may notice a magenta or green shift in your colours. I think this filter leans a little bit more towards the magenta side but my advice here is to set the filter up first and then set your white balance to avoid any chance of having any color shifting in your video. Another thing to bear in mind here is if you're using this filter system with a wide angled lens you may notice blotches and patches of the CPL working but not across the entire frame. This isn't exclusive with this filter system but rather all CPL filters. You'll definitely notice more consistent results from 28 to 35 mil and upwards. And finally it's worth noting that a CPL filter isn't the kind of filter that you just set and forget about because it can be very unforgiving. If you're going to be moving around the location a lot and the sun's going to be in different positions, before you hit that record button every time, you want to make sure that the CPL filter is set up correctly so you're going to be getting consistent results throughout all your videos. 
Overall then, I'm really impressed with this filter set from Freewell. The ability of being able to use a CPL and a VND filter simultaneously is going to be super handy in a lot of shooting scenarios and really going to allow me to nail that professional look. And that right there is where I'm going to be leaving today's video talking about this genius filter system that is definitely going to be going in my camera bag going forward. What are your thoughts on it? Let me know in the comment section below. If you did like today's video, if you learned some of it, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel as well if you want to. Be great to have you aboard of this ever so growing community. But with all that flim flam said, until next time, create, explore and inspire.